Good morning, good morning, good morning. You know what I'm going to say. If you are watching this program this morning, you have already been blessed because God woke you up and gave you the blessings of life. All right, y'all, we got a good one today. Now, this one um, is going to be very interesting because it's coming from out of Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Now, you remember when everybody used to wear the bracelets, what would Jesus do? All right, the title of the sermon notes is, What Would Jesus Do? It is easy to say, what would Jesus do, than to do it. In this scripture passage, Paul talks about this, and he takes us on an epic journey to address it. What would Jesus do? Christ's example should motivate us. Let's look at what Christ did and go and do it. Thinking determines behavior. Christ's mind determines his behavior. Number one, Christ's ability to sacrifice, even though he was in the form of God, he was willing to sacrifice and come and be a servant to us. He was in the form of God, but he was willing to sacrifice and come and be a servant to us, a servant. What are you willing to give up? Jesus left heaven to come to us and be mocked and even spit on to save us. Number two, you must have a servant's mindset. Jesus was willing to be a servant. Jesus served lepers and prostitutes, people that others didn't even want to touch. Jesus served the lame, the blind, the broken humanity. Are you willing to serve or do you want to be served? As a leader, you must be willing to do as you ask others to do. Find a way to serve. Who are you helping and encouraging along the way right now? A mindset of submission. Though Jesus was equal to God, he was able to sacrifice his life and lay it down, submitting to God's will. Are you able to be submissive in your home, your job, your church? Do you have a problem submitting to authority? You own a plane taking a flight and the flight attendant tells you to turn your phone off. Are you still texting? You're driving 80 miles per hour and get pulled over and then arguing with the law. <laughs> Jesus submitted himself even to the cross, pain and gruesome. Are you willing to suffer? Being a Christian doesn't mean every day will be sunny. Matter of fact, it's not if you will suffer, but when you will suffer. Are you willing to suffer for Christ? How much is your mind like Christ? How much is your mind like Christ. Satan's mindset was that he wanted privilege and to be God. Jesus's mindset was to come down and serve and suffer and save us for the gospel's sake. Paul says that if you are willing to go down, God will lift you up. What would Jesus do? Serve, sacrifice, Submit and suffer. What would Jesus do? Serve, sacrifice, submit, and suffer. Are you willing? All right, y'all. The key points of that, y'all, we got to have the mindset of Christ. We've got to be submissive. We've got to be able to help others. Remember that. If you're willing to go down, God will lift you up. So what would Jesus do again? Serve. Find a way to serve. Find a way to help others. Sacrifice. Give of yourself no matter what it takes. Submit. Submit. Have the mindset of submission in your home, your job, your church, wherever you are. Have a mindset of submission. Be humble and suffrage. 
Jesus suffered and died a, a gruesome death. And he was totally innocent. He was king of kings, lord of lords. But he suffered gruesomely. So we too must suffer. Especially being a Christian, you're going to come with extra suffering. Just remember, even if you don't have your bracelet on, what would Jesus do? All right, everybody, be blessed and just think this week. That's so easy. Have on your imaginary bracelet. I'm going to say it again. What would Jesus do? All right, be blessed. I feel some blessings coming on this week, everybody. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you all for continuing to watch um, uh, the program. I know that I'm always richly blessed from the Sunday Sermon Notes. And I hope that you are richly blessed too. All right, everybody, have a wonderful and blessed week. Be blessed.